What is going on guys? It's your boy Peekum Fun Fan 97 and I have another Adobe Illustrator CS6 tutorial for you guys. In this tutorial, I'll be going over how to use and create a new document in Illustrator. To begin, go into File and New, and this will open up a new window showing you to create a new document. So you can give it a, uh, give it a name. So I'm gonna name my tutorial. Oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> go to File and New and create a, another one. So, okay, so what's this profile? You can go and select any of these profiles. So you can do if you're doing for print, web, devices, video and film, basic RGB, flash builder and browse. So you can browse for a specific profile that you might have create that you might have create in uh, for uh, for Illustrator. Now, where it says number of artboards, artboards are pretty much documents. Like think of it as papers, you know, you can have like two pieces of paper and then kind of give you one paper here and one paper there. Pretty much it's an artboard. I'll give you two. So you can work with two. Now, if you do have more than one, it's gonna say spacing and each spacing is gonna be 20 pixels uh, in between each artboard. Uh, and columns, it gives you columns for every artboard per row. You could also change the layout. So you can go left to right to bottom left to right. And then you can do this one, which is uh, down and then top right and then down or you can do just right and or just down or going all the way right or you can just change the direction so maybe you want it to the right maybe you want it to the left so you can have it the opposite where it says size this is where now in this case I selected video and film now for video and film it's a little different so I'm gonna do that last but I want to do web so where it says uh, size you can select your size. Uh, you can do 1280 by 800, which is my screen resolution on my MacBook Pro. So you can also change this. You don't have to go with what it says. So you can have lots of customizability, customizability, which I cannot pronounce. I did talk a lot, so my voice is kind of gone. Uh, units, you can select points, picas, inches, millimeters, centimeters, and pixels orientation you can change the orientation if you want it landscape or portrait uh where it says top bottom left and right this pretty much changes the um it changes where it's aligned pretty much but now if you click on advanced it's going to be like this so if you click on the arrow right there you will see color mode you can go with cmyk which i have no clue what that is or you can do rgb which i do know which is red green and blue uh, raster effects this is pretty much the quality of the effects, like pretty much render settings. So high, you can have 300 PPI, which is pixels per inch. For every pixel, it is 300. You can do medium, 150, or screen, 72, which is what I keep it at. Preview mode, you can have it at default, which is by default, pixel or over your print. Now, if you were to uh, align new objects to pixel, pixel grid, um, this will allow you to align uh, new objects to the pixel grid which if you have somewhere, um, oh, it's not there, it's on the next one, but you can also import templates. So if you click on templates, you can import your own templates into Illustrator. And when you click okay, it gives you the, the document you've created. So 1280 by 720. Now, if I were to create one for video and film, each one of these is a little different guys. So just keep that in mind. See where it says size, you can change it, different sizes for print, the width is the same, everything is the same besides the profiles. So if you do devices, you can select from iPad, iPhone, uh, is that Zoom or Oom? I don't know. Fire Nuke and the Galaxy S. If you're gonna do video and film, which is I'm gonna teach you right now, um, or you can do basic RGB, or you can do Flash Builder, which no one really uses. So video and film is a little different. If you select size, you can change NTSC DV widescreen to NTSC DV, which is digital video. Uh, you can do PAL if you're from the UK or from Europe. You can do HDV 1080p, it just depends. You could also do full uh, 2K or 4K. I already do 4K, uh, and I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just go with NTSC DV. You can change the width and the height like last time. Units is pixels. Orientation, you can change it. Now, where it says color mode, you can do RGB or CMYK, of, of course. The raster settings is the same. Now, where it says transparency grid, this is a little bit different. 
you get an option to turn it off, light, medium, dark, and you have a lot of a bunch of colors to choose from. This is pretty much the transparency grid. It's just the grid, the color of the grid. So if I to do red, um, it will make it red. Now where's the preview mode? Same thing. So if I click OK, you can see that it's kind of red. To me, it looks pink. So I don't know, it might look red to you on the YouTube screen, but that is the grid. So it's all. it also gives you how it would look for film and video, which is quite cool. Now, that's pretty much it uh, when you create do a new document. That's all you have to worry about. In my opinion, I always keep it at print. I use size letter. doesn't matter. I sometimes do 1280 by 720 for just design and stuff, and I leave everything the same besides this. Uh, I mean, you can change it, but I would keep it at default, and then click OK, and then there you go. That's pretty much the basic all you need to know. But if this helped you in any way and how to customize it to your own liking, please leave your rating below. Comment if you have any suggestions regarding this video, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.